bad little thing, the true religion ginger Super clean, yo, what's good with you and me, yo Chasing dreams, yo, hit me when you're free, yo Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm back with a, just another simple tutorial for y'all. Um, I'm going to show y'all today how I take down my sew-ins with a straight razor instead of scissors and why. So right now I'm just going to put my hair into a ponytail and you guys will see why later. So before you start removing your sew-in, using any sharp objects to cut out anything, you want to make sure you separate your leave out so that you don't cut your leave out. But right here, you basically see me like tugging and pulling on the tracks so that I can lift up and lift them up and see where the string is so that I can cut it. And sometimes I will just take my hands and I will feel. But right now I'm in the front and I can see what I'm doing. So I'm using my eyes to cut the strings and I make sure that I lift up my track as far as I can so that I can have as much tension from the track and the string connected to my hair so I can have a clear view of it and I'm hoping I'm not going too fast for everybody um, you can rewind the video as much as you need to but I just want to note that um, the purpose of this video is to show you guys how quick you can get your sewing taken down with a straight razor versus scissors is way more easy it's much easier to use a straight razor because it's less confusion when it comes to that it's less confusion because with scissors you can actually cut your hair by accident because you don't have one blade you have two blades and they're coming together to cut something and they're going against each other and you can cut just extra that you don't need to cut when all you need is one blade and when you see me basically take the blade and you see me moving it up and down, side to side, whatever motion that you see me doing right now, I don't continue to just press the razor blade extra hard. I do it gently. It may not look like I'm doing it gently because I'm basically, I sped up the video so it might look like I'm doing things harder than I really am, but I'm not, I'm really taking my time and I'm being really gentle with the razor blade because I, you can still accidentally cut yourself or your hair or your track and you don't want to do that. So sometimes when, after you cut the string or the thread that you actually just cut, sometimes you will have like access because as you can see, I'm like pulling on my tracks and you can see that long string hanging. Sometimes you will just have long strings and to get them out the way so you don't cut unnecessary things, you just you just cut it with the razor. And basically, like if you did apply your sew in properly, it should be this easy also to take your hair down. It should be this easy to just pull on the tracks a little bit and the the string would just like weave through in between your braids just as you sewed it through. So it should just slide right through. You shouldn't have a problem if you sewed your tracks down properly. As you can see at this point, I really can't see what I'm doing because I'm more so towards the back of my head. So now this is the part where I've learned over time to just use my hands to feel what I'm cutting. And I've honestly been doing my own sewings for so long, I just know the difference between the string, the net, my braids, and the track. So I just take my time and I feel. You always wanna take your time and make sure you feel before you cut so you know exactly where you're landing your blade and what you're cutting. It's almost like after so much time and experience, it's like you have eyes in the back of your head when you come when it comes to certain things especially like this and excuse my daughter's barrette it just was there and i needed something that was gonna like hold my leave out out of the way a little better than that braid because my hair was flat iron right there so it's just gonna keep unraveling and unraveling is nothing i can do about it so i just i used anything to basically pin it away and keep it out of the way because my hair will literally flop everywhere and I will accidentally cut it. And I have actually accidentally cut my hair many times before and it was majority of the time when I was using scissors. And that's what got me to start using a straight razor because 
I realized that I've never cut my hair with a straight razor. It's so much easier to cut because you don't have two blades to watch where they're going. You only have one to watch. So right here, I think is a good time to explain why I put my my bundles in a ponytail before I started cutting my tracks. Well, cutting my sewing down. I put it in a ponytail because you don't want to have your hair all over the place after you get done. You want it to be easy, especially when you actually care about taking care of your bundles and you don't want unnecessarily, uh, excuse me, unnecessary tangling with your hair. If you keep it in the ponytail until you're done cutting all the tracks out, when you get done taking the whole thing off, you all your hair will be together. And then you could just take the band off and you could separate each bundle and you could just comb it out. But before I remove the band, I do take my time out to pull the strings out of where the tracks were sewn into my hair. Because when you cut your sewing down, you have uh, strings that are left over in between your tracks that you just cut with the razor because you don't have time to just sit there and pull them all out of the tracks as you're doing it and you can't even see it. So after the, after I get everything out of my head, after I take my braids down and everything, that's when I take my time and I basically, you know, do all the little things like pull the strings out and all of that. And right here, you can actually see basically what I was explaining. All of my hair is together basically the way that it was hanging on my head so it's not out of order it's not all mixed up and bunched up the bundles aren't out of order i know which bundle is which and i basically take my bundles and wash them in the order that they were put in so that i can keep everything separate and then on top of that it helps that i don't cut my tracks either so all my bundles separately are whole within themselves if that makes any sense but right now, what you see me doing is now I'm cutting my net off. And I'm just using the, basically the same method and the same motions and the same techniques that I did to cut my tracks out with the razor blade. I didn't do anything different because it's so, I sold my, basically sold my net down the same way I sold my tracks down. So I, I did it properly so it's easy for me to basically just pull the strings or just or lift the net so that the strings will be exposed more just like I did with my tracks so I could just go ahead and cut and I know that I'm only cutting the tracks but now as you can see I'm already it's crazy how I'm so far into taking my hair down and I'm already taking my braids down because it was so easy to just cut it out with a straight razor if I had scissors I would have so many more complications well, it would have been just more time consuming to try and stick one of the blades from the scissors in between the string and then cut when I could just use the razor blade to cut directly on the string and it just pops off. Um, I don't know if you guys had seen when I was actually cutting the string, my hair was just popping up. It was lifting up. Um, and so I think that for the rest of this video, I'm going to be just taking my braids down. So it's not really much to explain there, except that you don't want to be rough and just snatching your braids or unraveling, um, unraveling your braids in a rough type of manner. It might look like I'm doing that, but then again, I'm experienced. I've been braiding my hair and unbraiding it for so many years. I know what I'm doing. My fingers know what it feels like. But if you're new to this and doing your own hair, you want to take your time as much as you can. Don't feel bad about taking your time. Don't let it make you feel the don't don't let it make you feel as unexperienced as you are, because at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with learning. So just take your time and you it, it, trust me, if you take your time, it will make it so much easier for you to learn and catch on to certain things. Just the smallest little things that don't seem as simple as they really are when it comes to hair. So I'm just going to finish taking my braids down and I guess I'll be back at the end of the video because at the end of the video, I will be inserting a snippet, like a small, like really short clip 
of my next video following up what I did to my hair after um, after I washed it and I treated it with all my little products and stuff the style that I chose to do I'm going to insert a, a clip for you guys to see what the next video has for you guys Okay, side note, um, I am on a natural hair journey, so right now I, I'm at a point where I'm trying not to use heat as much as possible. Even though I still use heat, I'm not totally against heat because I don't want to wear a closure all the time. But I did take my closure off my wig and choose to do a sew-in and I kept it in. I think for a month and a half and as you can see like from my texture of my hair it's really easy for my braids to get old and start loosening up and my new growth doesn't help I have a lot of new growth and it grows really fast when I leave my hair alone and put it up in the sew-in so my braids look really old and I only had my sew-in in for a month and a half So by me being on a natural hair journey, that might be why you see me as I'm taking my braids down. You might see me stretching it or pulling it to see the difference in the last time I pulled it. I'm just checking my length as I go.
so once you get done taking your braids down you want to just you know run your fingers through your hair make sure you don't have any more braids and as you can see i had an extra braid that i totally missed because when your hair comes out of braids it's much bigger than it may seem a lot of times so you can have braids literally hiding in your head and you won't know so you just feel and make sure and then that is how i take my sewing down and that's how fast it can be for you and hair damage and free but now i'm gonna just go ahead and insert my clip and thanks for watching